it's a giant spider web. Now we put the crown on Rapunzel! I can't reach you. So I started No Shave November a little early this year, like I was saying, this is just... I don't know if you can see, but just the last week of October, and... I've been saying, like, a bunch of times that I want a haircut, but, like, um, much to my discovery, um, No Shave November is actually raising awareness to, uh, cancer, so, I guess I'm not gonna cut it till December, I guess, whatever, since my, got my other video, yes, shame, December, but, um, so, yeah, not only am I gonna grow hair here, but we wanna grow hair as much as we can. When did I get a cut last? I don't know. I don't know. You always have it on record. It's, it's a million dollar question when you actually do cut your hair, but... It's scratchy. It's itchy. So I just got done sorting all my candy. It looks a lot smaller when you separate them into their own segregate. I'm probably just gonna mash it all together again. Yeah. It didn't take me that long. Um, but I want to take this opportunity of nobody bothering me to talk about a uh, Halloween. Yes, I couldn't yesterday because I was too tired due to rehearsal or whatever. But, um, as you know, the... I already vlogged about Thursday and what happened then, actually, right after the concert or then um, walking under the ball whatever, but, um, on Friday, I got there as early as I could, well, not early as I could, because, like, um, I wanted to finish the, uh, for the past wings, but I got there, um, uh, to catch, um, not necessarily a good spot, but, uh, to catch the, uh, first show, um, and the second I walked in, um, this cast member saw me and seated me in the VIP section or whatever. The left side front row was uh, reserved for people who paid extra or whatever like that. Um, but they had me there. They had me, uh, like, three rows back or whatever. But I like being three rows back because you're more... Um, if you're front row, you're, it feels like you're turning around the whole time because he always comes... Uh, in the center of the stage, but, um, they seated me there, and, and, yeah, all she told me was they want me in the VIP tonight, or whatever, because, uh, previous show, uh, Dennis said, you're gonna come on stage and do the robot, well, not on stage, she just said, as far as I remember, I didn't get that specific talk to on film, but as I recall, all he said was, do the Roboto, and don't be nervous, so, she asked me, oh, what did he tell you, and, I, and all I told her was, he told me not to be nervous, so she got, okay, sit down over there, and don't be nervous, so. <coughs> She's giving me a back massage. Lord. Yeah. Um, and then there was a gentleman by the name of Gary, um, as soon as, um, the other cast member who sat me down in the VIP section, uh, said, that's where they want you, I did kind of have the gears going, or whatever, but, um, he walked over to me, and he, it was like a very serious tone, where there was, um, he was a dude, I don't know, just stage coordinator. He had a headset and a piece of paper or whatever. And I was like, um, very stern sounding. Where he was, he said, okay, here's the deal, Mr. Obato. And like, I, I was still like all smiles and all like, uh, uh, cordial, modest, if that's the word, uh, during this whole thing or whatever. But like he said, here's the deal, Mr. O and he, he points, he's like, you see those two security guards over there, um, at the, at the end of this show, 
Um, we want you to walk over there, um, um, just at the end of those ropes, or whatever like that, and I pretty much just smiled and said, okay, thank you, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I remember of that. Um, yeah. The first show went on, really no, uh, interaction, even, like, eye contact, um, friends, um, of course he saw me, I was in a freaking robotic house, um, but, yeah, all, uh, I guess, going on is that, um, I wanted to be seen, or him to know that I was there, and I'm sure, um, some, I'm sure got word to him that, um, I was there for the first show. Mom wanted me there for the first show as well, but I didn't, I didn't know if he was going to do Mr. Roboto for, um, the second set or the third set, because the first show he did it for the third set, um, the second, sh the, uh, Thursday, much to my dismay, um, and I vlogged about it. I was late, uh, for the, uh, second show, or whatever, because he did for the second one, so this time around he was doing it for the second show. The cast member asked if I had a camera, um, I said yes, yes, I have, she could have it, um, but then another cast member by her, uh, mentioned, um, that I was gonna want a picture backstage, or whatever, but I didn't even know I was going backstage at that specific point, or whatever, um, it was in my pocket the whole time, the whole time. I'm sorry I didn't vlog any of the backstage, but, um, you have to believe that I want to, yeah, you gotta take my word for it. Um, otherwise I wouldn't be vlogging me rambling about this entire thing or whatever. But, um, the reason I really didn't vlog any of it was, A, number one, it was really, really, uh, in the moment. I wasn't nervous, but it was, it was really surreal. Like, it was really, oh my gosh, I can't believe this was happening. Um, not as much as, you know, meeting to my Lovato or anything, but, um, it was still very, oh my gosh, so, so nice, just, I me mean, wearing a crappy, uh, Mr. Roboto. The enthusiasm, the enthusiasm was really, really high. Um, so, yeah, I didn't vlog any of it because um, it was in the moment. And uh, I didn't know if it was actually even, like, allowed because there were a ton of people back there. There was um, Dennis, Dennis's wife, August... The one guitarist dude with the long gray hair, um, and relatives of the drummer, I think, or something. I don't know. The cast member walked me over to the rope. I was really timid, if that's the word, um, while walking or whatever, because I didn't know where I was allowed to go or where to walk to or whatever. But uh, security guards actually didn't say a word to me. There were other dudes in, uh, Backstage people, or whatever, but I followed the dude in a oriented trading duck visor, and then uh, another uh, dude in one of the Donald Duck masks with a little body in the back. Um, he was like, Excuse my silly hat, or whatever, but like, you know, he was following a guy in an entire Mr. Roboto suit, or whatever like that. But it was weird. It was, um,. It was big white doors um, on stage right, or whatever. It was, it was weird because it appears as if like there's like the stage and then like the wings actually had like no roof to it or whatever like that. So the wings were like partly outside, partly inside. It was so weird. I couldn't even describe it or whatever. But like I went through the wings and then I didn't know where to go. And then one dude said follow him. So I followed him and uh I walked, and there was, like, this little box. <laughs> there was like this little box. There was this little house. Um, not even a house, just, like, a box with a room, whatever. There was a dressing room. Um, way down yonder was August uh, coming out or, like, going into another room. Whatever. So I said, hi, August. He just kind of waved, and 
that's it or whatever. He didn't walk down or say hi or anything, but um, which is weird because he's all buddy buddy with uh, Mara's girlfriend and the queen. So, but yeah, there was really no other interaction with uh, August. Um, pretty much right away, they just let me into uh, the dressing room where everybody was. And, uh, yeah. As soon as I walked in, I dropped my goofy plastic bag and my Mr. Roboto Duffy that um, I was making in line and uh, sitting in my seat a little prior to the show or whatever like that. Um, I walked in and it appeared that his wife, uh, I think her name is Suzanne or whatever, um, was, uh, filming me or something, um, on, she had her phone out, and this little flip thing, um, with, um, the light on, that was, uh, with her external video lighting or whatever, um, and the only way I remember that is cause, um, pretty much the second I walked in, um, they wanted pictures with me. They wanted pictures with me, and when they wanted pictures or whatever, it was her phone, and then they were saying that Dennis's iPad took better pictures or whatever, but like, she said, I want to recall that she said something about switching from video to picture, or that it was still in video mode or something, I don't know, so... I was under the delusion that they were filming me walking in. When me personally, I didn't know if I was allowed for me to personally film anything. Um, while they were taking all these pictures, I was gonna ask if I could get one, but I never did. I don't know why. I really don't. Like I said, I walked in, pretty much looked at everybody in there. Uh, the last person I saw was indeed Dennis, uh, he's in there, whatever, and, um, said, hi Josh, and he's like, you can't believe this is happening, do you? <laughs> and, even though I did kind of have an inkling that they were going to bring me uh, backstage, still very, um, tried to be stay as modest as I could, um, thankful that I was there and stuff like that or whatever, but um yeah, the second I got in there they wanted a picture with me. I didn't want a picture with them. They wanted a picture with me. Um, so I put my mask on right away or whatever, I noticed there was a bug on it or whatever and they told me, um wasn't the fir uh, he told me it wouldn't be the first time, whatever happens, but, um, it's like, when the light shines on him during the concerts, um, there are just a bunch of bugs flying around, uh, the, uh, spotlight, or whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, before he posed for the picture, he goes, this will be Mr., uh, Sticks Meets the Beatles, or whatever, so I didn't, I didn't know what he meant by that, um, until later, um, cause he was wearing a Beatles suit, um, something, um, that the Beatles wore, or whatever. <sighs> but, yeah, those two pictures were taken, and then they wanted another one on, again, Dennis's iPad, um, and they were complaining about a mirror that was behind us or whatever, so, um, we went outside in that alleyway or whatever like that, um, and then we took another one, um, and, uh, yeah, at that point I got a little bit, um, of time to chat with him, or whatever. I'm trying to remember everything. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Um. All I can remember is, um, him asking where I'm from. And whenever someone asks where I'm from, I'm always confused as to, like, 
if they're asking where I live or where I'm from from. So, but then, uh, and found out that he's actually from Chicago, just like me, or whatever. And he goes, well, why you move here? And so I'm like, yeah, mom, um, mom didn't like the snow, and she just likes it, um, uh, for Disney World, or whatever, I guess, or whatever. But, um, I just said, mom hates the snow, or whatever. And that's it. <gasps> um, then we get on the whole thing of, um, what made me, uh, dress up like Mr. Roboto. I told him, uh, that, um, inspiration from last year of everybody with the masks or whatever, the masks on the sticks or whatever like that. So I just said, just that, and he was like, oh, were you here last year? And I'm like, yeah, I was here last year. Um, and then I said that, that yeah, I was in the car, and I asked Mom, so what does Mr. Roboto wear? <laughs> so, and then... I told him that I told her, well, either what Dennis wears or whatever, and, like, um, which is all lavender in the music video or whatever, and then I complimented what he was wearing because it was all gray, like Mr. Roboto, and then it got on the whole thing of that it was, um, the B.O. suit. I'm trying to remember oh, I forgot to mention, when I walked in and after he said, oh, probably can't believe this heaven he pretty much just walked right up to me and then he rattled off like a few lyrics or whatever you know he was like okay i'll go thank you very much mr Obato, blah, 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 blah. and then i'll pretty much just follow you or whatever, like that um so yeah that's he rattled off a few lyrics or whatever and then after he said that the gary guy or whatever asked me if I knew my cue to go on and off or whatever, and supposedly the cue to go off was, uh, well, I want to, thank you, thank you, and even sung it for him or whatever like that, but, um, I actually got to stay on stage for longer than that and jam out with the guitar. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I remember, I think. I, I did tell him Happy Halloween. <laughs> I do remember, and it's, um, and after we took the picture in the separate location, um, he asked if I wanted a water, and I said, yeah, sure, whatever. And so, I got a water, or whatever, and on my way out, or whatever, that one cast member who, uh, walked me, uh, uh, in, and the lady who filmed me dancing with him, or whatever, she mentioned that she was really jealous, and that, yeah, she was even jealous of the water that I got, like, so, yeah, whatever. It's pretty much it. Anything else, uh, was filmed, uh, the dancing, uh, of me going on stage, and then the, uh, of course, uh, I think he wears this church bit. <laughs> um, and, yeah, finally got him to... Sign it, scribble it, yes, I wanted it right on the nose like a mustache, and I wanted it with silver or whatever, so like, it's not that noticeable, it doesn't look like someone just like completely scribbled on his face. I don't see me ever wearing it again, I mean, I might wear it next year if I go, I'll go next year, if they're there next year. And I might wear the mask. I won't wear the whole costume, but I'll wear the mask. Um, and maybe for just, like, one night or whatever like that. But, um, I pretty much planned it all I wanted to. Like, I wanted to make it backstage or whatever. And I wanted him to write on it while I was wearing it. Like, and that actually happened, whatever. So, yeah. I didn't ask for a picture, I didn't ask for him to autograph it, um, backstage, yeah, it was all in the moment, it was all in the moment, so, yeah, after I danced, that's when I told him to autograph it, so, yeah, it's pretty much all I remember, it's pretty much all I remember, that's why the entire vlog is consist of me just rambling about that, because I didn't vlog any of it. And it's because, again, I didn't know if I was allowed to. But... Yeah.
I want to thank the Upcut cast members for filming at least the dancing, and we already thought I uh, thanked Dennis Young on Facebook, whatever. But I want to see the pictures that were taken. I want to see the pictures that were taken, and I want to know if um, his wife was uh, filming me walking in. Um, cause that'd be cool. I want to see that, cause like. I can make a ton of uh, screen caps of me dancing with him on stage, but like an actual picture picture with him just still would be great. Would be great. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop talking now.